Have you ever wondered what it would be like to look like someone famous? Well, one Ivestyle man knows just that. His friends have been telling him for years how much he looks like Ernest Hemingway. Storyteller Aaron Valley is here, and you paid Ernest a visit? I did. I feel like I spent the morning with a famous writer, Heather. It was awesome. So this is the second year this doppelganger made his way to the Florida Keys. Now, a Hemingway look-alike competition is held there every single year, and this man certainly didn't show up alone. George has by morning, Hemingway in the afternoon. I've been doing this two years. I hope it's not too soon. That George Strait parody is just one of the songs that this George, George Hess, sang on stage this month. You know, they give you like 30 seconds to say something. So uh, I just made up a little song, and when they put the microphone in front of me, I sang it. After hearing about an Ernest Hemingway look-alike contest in Key West, Florida, George says his friends wouldn't stop bugging him about how much he looked like the famous writer. Had people uh, sending me notes, text messages, and saying, you know, you look like Hemingway, you ought to do this. And right after that, for some reason, it was just serendipity, I guess. This summer, George participated for the second time at Sloppy Joe's annual Hemingway Lookalike Contest. The fundraiser celebrates the late writer's birthday, who lived in Key West for a time. Here's George at Hemingway's house. Over the last 39 years, the Lookalike Contest has raised almost a million dollars in scholarships. Just look at the sea of Hemingways walking in the Florida version of Spain's Running of the Bulls Festival. George's partner, Linda, told him he was nearly impossible to spot. Uh, and Linda told me when she was looking out over everybody, she goes, I couldn't find you. <laughs> At the contest, judges crowned one winner as Papa Hemingway. George told me that he was just glad to be a finalist. It's okay. a lot of fun. In 2018, the first year that George competed, Paula Dean's husband won the Papa Award. Here he is with George. And this photo shows Linda and Paula Dean herself smiling big and cheering on their men. Even though George looks strikingly similar to Hemingway, after reading some of his work... Uh, I decided to go ahead and get a book of his complete short stories. George came to the conclusion that this resemblance only runs skin deep. I, I don't think that uh, Ernest Hemingway and I were a, an awful lot alike, other than the fact that he was also born in Illinois. There's just some things about Hemingway that George can't quite relate to. Uh, he, he led a rather tortured life, and the way he made up for that was his boxing and his drinking and his womanizing, which I guess isn't all bad. <laughs> George told me that the same contestants come back year after year. He says the finalists collect their medals and wear them proudly. He says mm. that these veteran um, participants would wear all their medals and they looked like Michael Phelps. Michael wow. Phelps, they were so decked out. <laughs> I could see how his wife would not be able to spot him. It was like, where's Waldo with all of them walking in that? They're partnered. Parade. They're partnered. So, oh. yeah, yeah. But My bad. They were both so nice and it was so much fun <laughs> meeting up with them. He really does look so much like when you put he those side-by-side -side pictures together. I'm like, wow. They could be twinsies. Twinsies, maybe so. All right. And we have to mention that that was an actual story idea emailed in to Erin. She's always looking for great stories to share just like that one. So That's right. Aaron. Thank you.